Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are talking all about Cli de Peau lipsticks. They have sent me their new lipstick collection. There are four textures, four finishes, and I have a lot of lipsticks to go ahead and swatch for you. So it's an official Cli de Peau swatch party. But before we go any further, let's take a second to grab our iced coffee or a hot coffee. Let's take a sip and let's get started. As you know, I have my online beauty consulting service. This is a one-on-one -on -one video chat. So if you get overwhelmed with all of the makeup collections available and you want some unbiased advice, you want someone to hold your hand and tell you what to get that's going to suit you, go ahead and book a session today. Okay, so first of all, thank you to Clé de Peau for sending me this new lipstick collection. I think what I'll do is I'll start off by just describing the four lipstick collections and then we'll go ahead and start swatching. So four radiant textures and finishes. Each formula hydrating, vivid, playing with light. A comprehensive new lipstick collection ranging in intensity of pigmentation and shine. We have the Lipstick Shimmer, Luxurious Luster with Just a Touch of Shimmer, Lipstick Shine, a Sheer to Shine Finish and Transparent Color, Lipstick Matte, Intense Color with a Silky Matte Finish, and Just Plain Lipstick. This is an intense color and subtle luster under a satin finish. We will start off with a lipstick shine and lipstick shimmer. I only have one of each of this collection. And then for the classic lipstick and the lipstick matte, I have six of each. Now in the lipstick shimmer, I have the shade 310. This is a glimmering gold, iridescent finish and lasting moisture. So this is going to be a very subtle color. I think it's going to be a nice wash of gold. And I think it's going to be more hydrating than anything else. It says it's an exquisite shimmer lipstick that creates radiant iridescent finish with a subtle glimmer and long lasting unparalleled moisture. Okay, so again, this is 310. This is not a color I would have picked up on my own. This. I don't know if it's giving me like a 70s retro look or a 90s look because in the 90s there was a whole metallic lip movement. Let me go ahead and give you a swatch on the back of the hand as well, just so you can see. It's interesting, it feels like a very buttery lip balm, but looking at myself in the mirror, this clearly has a lot of shimmer. I would almost use this more as a topper, but as it sort of stays on my lips, I like it better because I, I feel like it's sort of melting into my natural lip color, so it's not just gold, but this is so intriguing. I never would have picked this out for myself. Hmm. What a very interesting lip finish here. Let me know what you think. I would love to hear from you in the comments. Let me know which te texture is your favorite and which lip colors in particular are your favorite. Now I have here my Clé de Peau Micellar water here, so I'm going to go ahead and use this in between um, the swatches. I'll leave the swatch on the back of my hand, but I'm going to go ahead and remove this and move on to the next. Moving on to a Lipstick Shine. Now this is a very interesting formula to me because I do really love the glossy lipstick finishes. This is number 217 Go Getter Grape. So this is the lipstick here. It looks very dark. It looks very opaque and very pigmented. It says it's a radiant shine, dewy sensation, and a lasting moisture. I'm wondering how this feels. A luminous, sheer shine lipstick with an exquisite dewy finish and unparalleled moisture that lasts for hours. Interesting. So again, this is 217 Go Getter Grape. Oh, and swatch on the back of the hand. So when I'm swatching it, it does look a little bit sheer, but you can build it up as you can see. I think this looks beautiful. It's a very different color than the first one clearly, but let's go ahead and apply it on the lips. This feels a little bit more slick than the shimmer. I would say that the shimmer lipstick that I tried before felt more buttery, which is interesting. This feels slick 
it feels like nothing but the color i'm really impressed with the color payoff because sometimes when it says lipstick shine or color shine it's really just a wash of color but this shade here is very intense very beautiful it's berry but it has a bit of red i think it's a gorgeous color go get her a grape they have other colors in all the categories that i'm going to talk about today so it's really going to be up to you choosing which color or which shade you want to get but i'm very impressed with the color payoff i really thought it was going to be just like a sheer wash of color but this is really beautiful i did go over a couple of times to build it up if you wanted to do like a lip stain you could just go ahead and dot on the lips so let's go ahead and move forward let's go ahead and dive into the lipstick category and we'll save the lipstick matte for last all right so this is the classic lipstick category these are all going to have a satin finish and this shade here is number 12 power mauve do you say mauve or mauve I am really intrigued by the shape of the bullet lipstick here. It's quite intriguing. It's just like almost like a rose petal or a flower petal. So let's see. This is this says it's a radiant satin lipstick with a lustrous finish, of course. A luxurious satin lipstick infused with a hybrid skincare makeup formula that harmonizes with skin tone for a radiant, nourished lip and lasting color. Okay. So again, this is 12 Power Mauve. This looks like a really beautiful nude. I think this is going to be very flattering, just like a very easy lip color. And just applying it, the texture feels very different than everything else so far. This feels richer, like the pigmentation when I'm swatching it, the stick itself feels much richer, much more opaque, much more intense. Let's go ahead and apply it. Naming this Power Mauve is uh, perfect because it is giving me a nudie, cool mauve. If you want a nude lipstick that's not warm, I would say go with this one here because it does give me a little bit of a cool tone, mauve but it's a beautiful nude neutral. It's not too dark. I have much uh, darker colors coming up, but this one's really nice. And this feels like nothing. Like you don't really feel like a thickness. This feels like a classic satin lipstick. I love the finish. There is a little bit of shine on the lips, but it's not buttery. Like it's not um, slick. I don't feel a texture or anything greasy on the lip. It just feels like a really nice, comfortable satin lipstick. Now we have number 15, a flare for fuchsia. That is very exciting. I do love a bold color. Again, with the beautiful mold of this lipstick, it looks like yeah, like a flower petal. That's what it reminds me of. And I'm excited. I thought maybe this would be even brighter, but it looks like a really beautiful, lovely pink. Let's go ahead. Maybe I can do this backwards to show you live. Very pink. This is a bit brighter. It has the name Fuchsia in it, so I thought maybe it would be like flashier, but it is flashy. I don't know. It looks like... A lovely almost like a Barbie pink that's what it makes me think of let's go ahead and apply a flare of fuchsia this is a very fun girly pink I think it matches my eyeshadow really nicely I again I don't think this is a color that I would have picked up on my own but I think it's cute. I think there's, you know, a different shade for every occasion. This to me screams like girly Barbie pink and I love it. I love the shade. I think it's really cute. So this is the exact same finish and formula. And oh, by the way, there is no scent. None of these lipsticks that I've tried on, I haven't noticed any scent, any fragrance, because I know some of you are very sensitive to that. So there is absolutely no perfume, no scent added whatsoever. Okay, we're moving on to number 16, Arisimum. Arisimum? I don't know. I think this is a flower. So this is the shade here. Again, just looks so beautiful in the tube. I really want to see what this is going to be like here. Ooh, this is lovely. 
think this is more my type of shade. It looks cool, but a little bit less flashy than our Barbie pink. I love the shape of these lipsticks here. Like they really are just like sort of curved to fit your lip very naturally. It is really nice. Number 16, Erisimum, Erisimum, however you pronounce this. I know this is early, but I think this is the standout shade. This is just so flattering. Like, it's just so beautiful. I love makeup. I have a very comprehensive makeup collection, but I love a good staple workhorse. And to me, this color looks like that. Like, this is the type of color that is going to be so flattering on so many different skin tones. And it's a beautiful shade without being too much. It's not too bold, it's not too dark. So this is going to be your everyday nine to five lipstick. This is going to be the lip color you reach for day after day because it's so easy and flattering. So yeah, this is um, the racehorse uh, winner so far, but we have a lot more to go ahead and swatch. So let's go ahead and put this aside for now, but I'll be back. Okay, moving on to 18, Refined Red. I think this is going to be a really gorgeous classic red. Interesting, this is going to be much darker than the rest of the colors we've swatched so far, I am guessing. Ooh, look at that. Did you see how easy that was? So buttery, so opaque, so pigmented, just like one like ooh, swipe like this. This is exactly what I thought it was going to be. Just a beautiful classic red. It is so opaque, just like one little swipe and you get so much color payoff. This is, I think, great for the holiday season, for New Year's, if you just want like a gorgeous classic red. This is definitely more dramatic than our previous color, but I think there is a different color for every occasion, like I mentioned. So if you're in the market for a really beautiful red and look at how white my teeth look just like it's so pretty it's so flattering and i haven't used a lip liner yet i have a couple lip liners i'll show at the end but yeah this didn't even need a lip liner you could use one if you needed to but i went over my contour just a little bit i was you know just a little bit enthusiastic here so let's go ahead and uh, keep swatching all right moving on to number 20 berry bravura interesting Ooh. This looks like a really beautiful, deep, rich berry color. I love the bullet, like the lipstick tube here. It's just, it looks so classic and clean. Ooh, okay, this looks gorgeous. I love this type of like bright raspberry color. That's a berry as well. I think this is going to be very flattering on me as well. I love the shade. It's so pretty. I just, I love these like raspberry. To me, this is a fuchsia. We tried one earlier that was like the Barbie pink that was called fuchsia, something like that. To me, this is like a bright raspberry fuchsia berry. I think it's so flattering. I find it just like awakens the entire complexion. And I think some of these deeper colors would be really nice on deeper skin tones as well. And if you noticed, I did go over a couple of times, but it was mostly to correct my lip line. It wasn't to get the color payoff because I find that the color payoff is like pretty intense. One swipe, maybe two, but it's really nice. And I do have to say, these are very comfortable considering I am going through a lot of makeup remover. My lips actually don't feel that dry or chapped. So this actually is a very comfortable lipstick to wear. And now we are moving on to our last satin lipstick. This is number 21, Raspberry Radiance. I think I'm going to enjoy this one as well. Beautiful as per usual. Let's go ahead and do a little swatch. Interesting. I feel like this looks similar to the, f to, um, the last one I just did, but somehow even brighter. Huh, I'm really curious. Let's go ahead and apply it. Twenty-one 
21 Raspberry Radiance. It's also stunning. I'm trying to decide if I prefer 21 or, or 20, the one that I just applied. They're both in the beautiful berry rich color that I love. It's hard to say. There is a difference when you see them swatched side by side. I would say that this one here that I'm wearing now is a little bit more muted. It's not as flashy. It almost has more of like a slight milky finish to it that just makes it a bit more subtle. I would say that this one here, 21 Raspberry Radiance, number 20 Berry Bravura here, the one that I just applied, this is the berry one here, and number 16 Erisimum, still unsure. I think these three are my favorites so far. With this one here, the 16, the more like neutral, everyday, beautiful pink, I think this one is my absolute top favorite. And then the last two that I've been wearing are my favorites in so far. I mean, I still have six more to swatch, but so far these are my favorite. Okay, we are moving on to the matte lipstick portion of the video. The first one here is 103 Legend of Rouge, Legend of Rouge. So these ones are going to be matte, but a matte bullet. So I think, I'm hoping it's more comfortable than like a liquid lipstick, but this one here, looks like a really gorgeous um, holiday red. Let's go ahead and give you a swatch. That is really pretty, very beautiful. Let me just go back into the satin formula, the number 18 refined red, and just do a little swatch on the side here. So the matte formula is more orange. It's warmer, more orange, whereas the satin one from before looks more blue, more cool toned. Let's go ahead and apply. All right, I prefer this red over the satin one from before. I just prefer a more warm orangey red. I just find something about it just looks a bit better on me. It could just be my opinion of my own reflection, but I prefer this red here. So you can still see a little bit of shine on my lips here, but this is a matte formula. So when you apply it, when you go like a couple of times, it really just transforms into a matte and it feels like absolutely nothing. It's featherweight. You don't feel like a thick waxy buildup or anything. So just be mindful because you are wearing a lipstick and you might forget and you might smudge, but it feels like nothing. This feels comfortable, but I do have to say that the satin formula does feel a little bit more nourishing when you're gliding it on. This does feel nice. It's just that I've been swatching like eight lipsticks so far, so I can tell the difference between all the different textures. And I think on its own, if you're not swatching like 20 lipsticks in a day, I think this is going to be perfectly fine for you to wear all day. All right, moving on to number 112, Agent of Change. Interesting. This looks like it's going to be a really nice, nudie, your lip but better type of color. Let's go ahead and give it a swatch. This does look really nice. On the back of my hand, it looks like it's going to be a bit mauve. So let's go ahead and give it a try. Now, this reminds me a little bit of Power of Mauve. This is, I think, the first satin color that we tried out. Let me go ahead and just do a little swatch side by side. Well, these look close. They kind of look like just, you know, two heads of a different coin. So it could just, well, I think that the Power of Mauve is like a little bit warmer, whereas the one that I'm wearing now, what's this one called? Agent of Change is a bit cooler, but Mm, I don't know, at first I thought that they would look closer, like they are close, but just some hints, some differences. So if you want something even cooler, even more mauve even though it's called the Agent of Change, this to me looks like a more cool mauve than the Power of Mauve. Now moving on to 114, Splendorous. Interesting. What a beautiful color. Mm, I can't get over how beautiful these look just like in the tube, so... I'm getting impatient. I just want to see how all of these look on me. 
So again, this to me looks like that Barbie pink that I tried before, but maybe I'll swatch it side by side and it'll look totally different. Let me go ahead and apply it. A flare for fuchsia. That was our satin finish one here. Let me just do a little swatch. So again, I mean, they look close, but not that close. I think if you like one, you would like the other, but I think I prefer a flare for fuchsia a little bit over splendorous. Let me just show you how these look side by side here. I don't typically wear these types of what I categorize as Barbie pink, and I hope you're not offended by that term. It's meant to be endearing. It's just not typically a pink that I would wear, but it's interesting that there are subtle nuances between the satin and matte finishes. So if you like one of these, you would like the other version. Now we have 117 Unforgettable Fuchsia. Interesting. So I think this is going to be possibly similar to what we just showed before. Let's go ahead and do a swatch. Ooh. Ooh. So when you call a lipstick fuchsia, this is what I expect. This is what I want to see. Let me go, go ahead and apply. I think this color makes me look like I have a bit more of a tan. It definitely is following our bright pink uh, color story here but there's something in the hue here that I think I prefer a little bit better. But again, I'm providing all these swatches for you guys at home because there are swatches on the website, but this is like a real life flesh and blood swatch. So I think it's going to be helpful for you guys at home. Now moving on to 118, Relentless Rose. Interesting, I wonder what's so relentless about it. There are so many pinks in this collection here. Let's go ahead and do a swatch right underneath here. Oh, interesting. This kind of gives me like a raspberry berry hint right here. So hmm. let me go ahead and apply it. I think this is really beautiful. This is giving me every raspberry fuchsia berry bright color that I want. I love this for fall, for winter. You know, when it's super cold and snowy, I just find that this type of bright berry looks so nice with just like a very light neutral eye, maybe a little bit of champagne shimmer and a, a bright berry. I think it's just so flattering. And so I think this might be my favorite of the matte relentless rose because it is quite relentless. But I think the first one that I tried from the mattes, the more orangey red legend of rouge, I think that one may be my favorite followed very, very closely and tightly with this um, relentless rose. These are my two favorites of the mattes. Our last lipstick of the day is 120 Profoundly Passionate. Interesting. This looks like a really nice, deep, rich color here. I don't think we've swatched other colors like this today. Well, it's a red. Hmm, it's really nice. I think this is going to be really, really flattering on deeper skin tones. Yeah. I think this is a gorgeous color. At first I was like, mm, maybe it'll be too dark for me, but I think that this is beautiful again for like winter, like fall, winter, but just like really cold, gloomy weather. I think this is going to be so beautiful. And again, I have like a pretty light eye look, but I would go even lighter and this and like a nice berry blush. I think this is a really nice color. Again, if you have much richer, deeper skin tones, this is going to be perfect for you. But if you're around my skin tone, I think this is a gorgeous color as well. It kind of gives me like a 90s uh, kind of grunge, like slit, not goth, but just like that sort of dramatic makeup look. So I think this is really pretty, very lovely. I'm actually really, really 
into this color 120 profoundly passionate at first i was like oh it looks so dark it almost looks like a, a brown i don't usually wear brown lipsticks it's just not really for me but something here is really calling my name okay so lastly clé de peau sent me two lip liners so when you buy the lip liner this is like the not the cartridge but this is the lip liner stick and then inside you can actually buy different cartridges that um swap out so you can just go ahead and buy this and then buy whatever refills you want you don't necessarily have to buy an entire um set unit for every single lip liner if you don't want to so there are two shades that they sent to me the first one number three is a beige red so you just put it in here click like this and then you twist and you have your lip liner here it says it's a beige red do they mean a nude or really a beige red i would say this is more nudie hmm Please ignore the signage. It's called number three beige red, but in my expert opinion, it's more of a nude. It does have a little bit of warmth to it, but it's not really red. It's more of a nude, a beigey nude, if you will. So if you need a lip liner to go with some of your lipsticks, I think these would go with, again, number 16 in the satin formula here. I think this could work with this one here, although the lip liner is warmer more beige you could still wear it with something more neutral more nudie like this and then the other lip liner they gave me this one here is much more red so we just go ahead go like this and they gave me number four and this one here is called red i think or vivid red so this is number four vivid red so as you can see this lip liner here this vivid red is definitely warmer it matches my more warm orangey lipstick more than the blue one you could wear it with the blue the more cool red but personally i would match it more with the warm orangey red and this suits me perfectly because i do prefer a more warm orangey red as far as the lip liners go i think they feel perfectly fine they feel like any other lip liner they feel creamy you saw me swatching it when I was applying it. Like there's not really much pressure that I'm applying here and it's uh, uh, gliding quite nicely. So I think it's a nice addition to this whole lip collection. Now there are only six lip liners to choose from. So you may not get an exact perfect match with your lipstick, but maybe it's more of a guide to match with your lipsticks. I think we're done. I have swatched every lipstick, every lip liner that they sent to me somehow my lips are still attached to my face please give a thumbs up and a round of applause for my lips for holding it together and not falling off or chafing off my face as i was rubbing and scrubbing and removing and swatching all over the place but thank you for those of you who are tuning in today let me know in the comments which texture was your favorite and which lip color in particular I think overall, I mean, you can probably guess which one was my favorite, but I think number 16, Erisimum and the Satin Lipstick Formula for me personally, I think is going to be my go-to. It's just so beautiful and it looks like one of those shades that's just so universally flattering and just goes, it's, go, it's going to go with so many looks. So that would be like my, my top recommendation personally. But yeah, let me know in the comments which shades are your favorites. I know that this has been highly requested because I posted about this on my Instagram and you guys were like, where are the swatches? The swatches are here. The swatches are live. I hope you enjoyed. So if you're not subscribed to my channel, you really should take the time to do so because do not trust the algorithm to just bring you back whenever I have interesting content. The algorithm is very faulty and may just forget to tell you that I exist for several months or even years. So go ahead and just hit subscribe just in case. Anyway, that is all I have for you guys for today. So thank you so much to Clé de Peau for sending me these lipsticks and lip liners. And thank you to all of you for watching me. It really does mean a lot to me. So yeah, that's all I have for you guys for today. Thank you so much for stopping by. Hope you have a beautiful day and I'll see you next time. Bye.